Hey there, podcasters. Thanks for choosing Movie Groove. If you're a regular listener, or even if you're a version of Groove, why not take a moment to like, subscribe, or even leave an encouraging comment. Every week, Movie Groove brings you news, reviews, and cheap shots at Michael Bay. All for a low, low price or nothing per download. So enjoy the show. Like, subscribe, and comment. It's a new shop that shows a lot of love. Very good, Ruby. I couldn't hear it. I would like to give a shout out to our employer, Freddy the Turk. Freddy the Turk. Freddy the Turk. People are safe when near him. Freddy the Turk. Only the evil fear him. Softness in his eyes, iron in his thighs, virtue in his heart, and fire in every part of the mighty Freddy the Turk. Now, we here at Movie Groove tend to lionize our boss, Freddy the Turk, uh, every now and again. Uh, he's a mighty man, and if you want proof, there is actually a documentary that's coming out soon about the life um, and the legend that is Freddy the Turk. In fact, the movie is called The Legend of Freddy the Turk. Here's a snippet of that, um, narrated by none other than Mr. Morgan Freeman. Freddy the Turk was born on a mountaintop. And, uh, well, just as the gypsy woman had prophesied, he was indeed a son of a gun. Raised by wolves, Freddy grew to manhood in a little under a year and soon captured the attention of the ladies. But it wasn't long before he had tasted of each one of them, and after fathering every person who lives in the area we now call the Northern Hemisphere, he set out, as he said at the time, to make a real difference in the world. By the age of 18, he had conquered the entirety of civilization as we know it. Almost the first human being to walk on the moon Freddy graciously stepped aside to hand the honor to some guy called Neil Armstrong, who screwed up the line that Freddy had made up for him. Unperturbed, Freddy flew back to Earth all by himself, stopping only briefly along the way to rescue some Russian cosmonauts and hand rear an orphaned tiger cub to adulthood. On returning home, after a brief rest, he then discovered the vaccine for polio. Now 23, while idly breaking the sound barrier at the summit of Mount Everest, Freddy looked down upon the world as God watched him in awe, wondering at what he might not do next. But when Freddy the Turk saw the breadth of his empire and beheld that there was no more left to conquer, he did not weep like a little girl as Alexander the Great had done, and instead decided to invent the medium of radio. He didn't know it at the time, but, well, Freddy's invention would go on to kill Hitler and help the United Nations to bring democracy to every corner of the world, except Scotland. To this day, Freddy the Turk continues to be the inspiration for all good things that happen on the Earth, despite having left long ago to make contact with life on other planets, which he did more than a year ago. He has become their king. And all of the females are now pregnant. They, like us, have much to thank him for. Good night. What did I say? What a guy. I know, man. I didn't know half of that stuff about Freddy, but uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, uh, Morgan Freeman didn't sound like he was in very good voice. He might have been a cold. A little bit of a cold, else. yeah. Movie Groove. 7 to 9 Thursdays on Energy Groove Radio.